that I'm at an all time. Hey guys, so for today's video, I'm going to be showing you this fall slash wintertime makeup tutorial. I really love using dark colors for the fall and winter time, so that's why I went with more smoky your eye and a dark lip. So if you guys follow me on Snapchat or Instagram, which you should go ahead and do that, they are right here. I cut my hair, I cut three and a half inches off, which is crazy because I never thought I would do that in so long because my hair was down to here, now it's up to there, so it's pretty crazy but I really do love it if you've been wanting to cut your hair but are too scared to do it just do it you'll end up loving it and it's probably so much healthier for your hair anyways and it looks really dark right now I swear it's not this dark it just looks really black the lighting is just really off I still do have my purple in it but again the lighting is just weird you can kind of see it in there so it's still there so if you guys want to know how to get this makeup look just keep on watching the first thing I'm doing is obviously moisturizing with my Garnier Moisturizer. It's a day brightener, release dry skin, so I really, really love this one. Next, I'm mixing my Born This Way and my Kat Von D foundation together so I can get the perfect consistency. So then I went ahead and used my Real Techniques brush and just stippled that all over my face as well. Now for concealer, I'm taking my Naked Skin Concealer in Fair Light, I think it is. And I'm just putting that on my problem areas like for my dark circles and a few pimples I have and just blending all that together. Using my e.l.f. powder as an under eye uh, setting powder and then I'm going to go ahead and take my Laura Mercier powder. Using my Beauty Blender and I'm just going to bake my face. Now I'm doing my brows, which I do again have a video on, but I decided to do them a little bit more dramatic and a little bit more arch for this video since my makeup is a lot more dramatic. So here's just a little quick sketch of how I do it. Going in with my L'Oreal eyeshadow palette, I'm mixing these two colors together to get the perfect maroon, deep, burnt, rust kind of color. <laughs> I wanted to go for a maroon or a purpley eyeshadow look with also a little bit of a glittery gold underneath, so we'll get into that part later. I really rounded it out just on my lid so it's better for blending later. Now I'm taking my Kylie Jenner eyeshadow palette. I freaking love this thing and I'm taking this color right here. I forget what it's called so don't ask. And now I'm just going to blend all of this out just so there's no any harsh lines and it just looks really blended together. Taking the lightest color in that palette, which is a nice champagne color, focused it on my brow bone, but also for blending purposes, so it could be more of a gradient effect. Taking my The Balm Appetit eyeshadow palette, which is so adorable, I'm taking this purpley shimmery color right here and just putting it on my inner corners. Now I'm getting my Too Faced glitter glue and just putting that on my lower lash line. Going in with my Addiction palette by Unique, taking the color Blist and just putting that underneath my lower lash line. Going back in with the first color we used, but just the one to do my other half of my lower lash line. The look is never complete without winged eyeliner, and obviously I do that off camera, as you see here. Oh god, it took me forever. Going in with this CoverGirl mascara just to give my real lashes a good coat, and then I'm going in with my fake Demi Wispy Lashes, which I am in love with. It looked so good. I was so impressed. Like, ugh, these looked awesome. And then I'm taking my Better Than Sex Mascara just to blend my fake lashes with my real lashes. Went in with my Roller Lashes Mascara and just did my bottom lashes. Went in with my Kylie Eyeliner and did my waterline. And now it's time to set my whole face, so I use my Revlon Nearly Naked Powder with this Real Techniques brush. And everything came out flawless. I love it. 
putting some foundation on my lips just for again blending purposes and easy application. I used Court K by Kylie because I wanted a dark lip and this really really looked awesome with it. I was scared with the plum. I wanted to go for more red but it ended up looking really good and I was impressed. With dark lips, you really want to make sure they're clean and crisp. So I took some of my foundation and just cleaned up the edges a little bit. Now it's time for contour and I just took this really straight flat brush just to carve out all of the contouring I want to do. Then I went in for a more pointed brush and really, really, really blended all of this out. It just really looked nice. I, I did a little bit more heavy of a contour, like I said, this look it's a little bit more dramatic so I really wanted to go in and make it look very defined so that's exactly what I did I'm using this Maybelline blush that has a little bit of shimmer and sparkle in it because who doesn't love that and then I'm going in with a highlight base with my Milani Tantastic and then I'm going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills glow kit which I'm obsessed with I use it all the time every day using sunburst and just going over that with my temples my nose the bridge of my nose my forehead my cupid's bow and my chin like always first time I straightened my hair since it's cut and it looks really nice and sleek with this look I was very very impressed and be ready for the awkward ending I forgot to say my outro so don't hate me so thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed your Thanksgiving. I'm having mine today, which is Saturday. Hopefully I'll be making some vlogs, miss videos because I've never done that yet and might as well make this the first year to do it. It's just, I don't have that very exciting of a life. So we'll see, we'll see how it goes. And if I like it, then maybe we'll continue. <laughs>